Hi everybody, it's X-Rax and we're here, we're back. It's finally time, it's been a long time coming. July 7th guys, if you know you know, it's a big important date in the world of fairy tale. And July 10th is my birthday, so I feel like this is an early birthday gift for me in a sense, uh, to finally have our characters, our family back in our world. It's so great to think about it, and I can't wait to dive into this new show, the sequel show, Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest guys. It's finally here as I keep saying, I love it. If you know me, if you know my channel, if you are returning to my channel from my original fairy tale reaction, Actions. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to get started with all of you again. And if you're here for the first time, please know that Fairy Tale Guys is the heart and soul of this channel. It's my favorite anime. It's the reason why I began doing episode reactions in the first place. And now on my channel, I have multiple episode reactions of many different shows, including Fairy Tale, Black Clover, Attack on Titan, Spy Family. We're in the middle of Demon Slayer right now as well. And I also have patron exclusive reactions like My Dress Up Darling and the live action Avatar Guys. Go check it all out. The link Link is in my description below. It means so much to have new patrons join me, guys. I would love it. But getting back to Fairy Tale, guys, it's so hard to kind of recap an entire show. And so if you don't really know what's happening in the show right now, let me just do you a quick solid and recite this thing right here. In a land far, far away lies the kingdom of Fiore, a small peaceful nation of 17 million and a place filled with magic. Found in every home, bought and sold in every marketplace. For most, magic is only a tool, a mundane part of everyday life. For some, however, magic is an art, and they devoted their lives towards this practice. These are the wizards. Banded together in magical guilds, they use their skills in search of fame and fortune. Many such guilds dot the landscape of Fiore, but there is a certain guild in a certain town that soars high above the rest, one from which countless legends have been born, a guild that will no doubt continue to create legends well into the future. Its name is Fairy Tale. And so yes, guys, this show is all about magic and wizards using magic, and they go on jobs and that's all you really need to know guys the original show ended with our strongest team of characters from fairy tale venturing off onto the hundred year quest job and that's all we really know we had in the original show the hundred year quest get quickly mentioned by guild arts another member of the guild and he lost an arm and a leg and the whole job was about going after acnologia the big black dragon the villain of the whole show so i don't think he ever completed that job and that's all it was really ever mentioned in the original show so i'm super excited to see what lies in store for us guys i can't wait and i've been talking talking enough so thank you guys so much for joining me it means so much guys to have you back or to have you here for the first time please like this video please subscribe to the channel for more reactions coming soon and like i said before we do have a patreon where you can watch this episode unedited and unfiltered please go check it out guys that means so much if you do let's dive in guys let's get started with episode one of fairy tale hundred years quest let's go the year 633 this is before the show. Oh my god. They like attack because they use magic or is people against magic maybe? The world's first wizard guild was born in that year. And now we're back to Magnolia present day guys, the year 793. That's, uh, 160 years. <laughs> 160 years later. Welcome back, everybody. We're here. Ooh, new faces already. Okay. Asana. It's good to see him moving around a little bit better. Locky. Oh. Yeah, I don't like this guy. <laughs> the whole vibe is thrown off right now. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There's our guy. Gosh, it's so nice still, guys. It's so nice to see him fight for the guild. If you know his history, it, he's grown so much. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Tuka, okay. So maybe she'll uh, stay. She'll be kind of like the audience that isn't familiar with the show. She'll kind of learn everything about fairy tale, and that'll help the new viewers. Maybe is my guess. Oh my! <laughs> oh, Juby. Let's go! Oh my gosh, man. And our opening, our first opening one. It's a blind reaction for me. I have not seen this yet. Oh gosh, guys. I'm just so, like, so happy we're back. It's just so amazing to see everybody, to see our characters we know and love. I am a little curious, guys, while this uh, credits are going. Um, I'm curious how often we're going to be spending in the guild hall and, and our other side characters and stuff, or are we going to mainly strictly focus on Natsu and the team doing the quest? Like, are we going to be jumping back and forth, or is it going to more slowly transition just to Natsu and them? I kind of hope we see everybody throughout. I hope we don't, like, leave them behind in the story. Because I love them all. I love them all today so much. Lots of battles and action coming up. Okay, yeah, and I saw the trailer. I did reaction to the trailer, guys. Uh, we have some people that can apparently become dragons. That's all I know going into the show. Uh, I've not read the manga or anything. And uh, one of them seems to be the big villain right now, and he has a fire abilities, you know, just like Natsu. So the first guild and the strongest guild. Okay. Oh. Looks like snow to me. <laughs> and something's never changed. Yes, Gray loves to take his clothes off. Oh, okay. So we're in the continent north of Fiore and Ishgar. Uh, if you notice the other continent to the west, that was Al where Alvarez came from and the whole final season issues. That's where we were battling and dealing with some characters. It all worked out in the end. That's all I'll really say. But. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Make it a little bit more uh, backstory with what Gildarts did. Never mind. <laughs> He's not allowed to tell it. Oh, such joy to just see and hear that. Magia Dragon? The first guild ever, apparently. Oh my. Oh <laughs> Oh, 
He has like a hat and staff and stuff, just like Urza's mom. So I'm curious if there's like a connection there. Ooh. But he didn't become corrupt and evil, it seems, like Technologia. Unless he's hiding some evilness, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and there you go, guys. Fairy tale fan service, in a nutshell. <laughs> Can say at least one did. Oh, it's all coming back. Oh Oh my god, agreed. Why is Juvia not with them? I love Juvia. Uh-oh, they're gonna throw down. So we have a, a Juvia-type character for Natsu now. And I'm only wondering how Lucy's gonna feel about all that. Oh。Some connection to Avatar Guild? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, so that's why Gildart couldn't say nothing. He signed an NDA. <laughs> One week before. Yes, the Aquarius Broken Key is an ongoing story plot, I'm sure. Hopefully, we'll find it, because apparently it's out in the world somewhere to be found. And then we can get Aquarius back in our lives. And all will be well. <laughs> Five dragons! Oh my god. Oh my god. ドラゴン退治か。燃えてきたぞ。まあ、ただ子供のものが100年クエストを達成できるのなら、この依頼は世界中を探しても誰にもこなせんということで、最後の希望じゃ。だな。We got it. Let's do it. <laughs> I can't help but wonder, guys, though, is that he wants this job completed? Is Does it mean, like, if the job gets completed, does something worse happen? Does he get more power, or does he become evil? Like, I'm still hesitant to say is this friendly old man who was a dragon slayer now turned into a dragon. Like, to see what happened to Aquilogia in the original show, it's so hard to accept him as just a kind dragon, you know? It's like, is he up to something? That's kind of where my head's at right now. And we're eating jelly somethings. <laughs> oh my god, they're eating us. They're wanting to be eaten. 
Let's do it, Wendy. Done. <laughs> I love Wendy too. She's so great. <laughs> oh, so it's totally separate. They stayed on this northern island continent, I mean, uh, and didn't get involved in any of the stuff in the original show. But the water dragon. This is our first time in the whole show seeing any kind of water dragon abilities. Wow. Oh, yeah, get that back. Oh, we're already here. Oh my god, just like Atlas. Ooh, okay. It does seem to me like Tuka, she's there for another reason besides Natsu. Like, there's something questionable with her. I'm kind of keeping an eye on her. A little suspicious. But we got Gajo being a detective now, just like finding uh, the truth, you know, and uncovering mysteries, just like he was in Edelis, just as a reporter. Very cool. Sunjin? Oh man, it's already over. Just getting started, guys. Um, first thought, like hit that uh, eye tattoo thing, uh, just like J Jalal. Like, what does that mean? How is their connection there? You know, there could be a connection. I don't know. But uh, oh my god, man, we're back. I love it. I'm already hooked. Like, I'm so invested already in this new story. It's very cool to kind of like have this new continent that was outside of everything else from the original show. So, you know, it doesn't really affect things. And it does leave me wondering, like, are we going to. Oh, that's a cool shot. Oh, it's like everyone. Their family members. They're gone now. Oh, that's touching. Oh, man. Oh, Wendy's Kate Shelter Master. It's a fun ending song. I'll have to uh, analyze this a little bit more in my next reaction for episode two. But I want to say, guys. Um, like I was saying before, like I want to know the connections already. Um, and like I mentioned, there's this water dragon apparently that we're going to be searching for first. And this is the first time there is any kind of water dragon. Like we've had stone dragon, shadow dragon, like other dragons, but not water. And I think uh, during the um, eclipse arc, they did mention like, oh, we, you know, I think it was like um, Jet or Droy or one of them. Sea of Dragons, their next episode title. All right, let's go. But yeah, uh, Jed or Droy, one of them was like trying to hide from this uh, flame, fire breathing dragon kind of thing. And it was like, hey, can we have a water dragon? <laughs> they just throw it off the cuff kind of comment. And it made me wonder like, oh, you know, is there a water dragon? Is there a water dragon slayer out there somewhere? Like maybe we're going to run into that now. Like that might be a cool thing to see. But as I keep saying, guys, we're back. I'm so hooked. I can't wait for more. Hopefully you can't either. And I guess thank you so, so much for joining me guys on this new journey, this new quest. And it just means the world to me to have fairy tale back in our lives and to have you all back with me. So thank you again. And if you haven't already, please drop a comment 
down below. Let me know what you think about this episode and this reaction. Let me know what you hope to see in more episodes coming up of Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest. And also, guys, check out other content on my channel as well. I have reactions for Demon Slayer, like I said, ongoing right now, and other reactions as well already there and on the way. So it's a good time. Go check them out. And we'll be back, guys. I hope to have new reactions out for Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest about every Monday or Tuesday after the new episode comes out. So be on the lookout. Check back on the channel. I'll get it out as soon as I can. And we also have Demon Slayer reactions happening on Friday. So go check those out as well. And I just want to say, finally, guys, we're back. Let's go. Have a great one. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.